Aloha beautiful souls. Welcome to another reading here at Transform with Ryan. And in today's reading, we are going to look at what makes you attractive. Um, you know, I think so often my you know intention for making this video is so often we're taught and we're conditioned to be really critical of ourselves and to judge ourselves very harshly and i think it's important you know for us to really step up in life for us to achieve our goals and dreams is we have to believe in ourselves we have to show ourselves love and we have to really own all the positive and wonderful qualities about ourselves and so this reading is to help you tap into that energy in yourself so close your eyes and i invite you to place your left hand over your heart and then place your right hand over your left and just take a nice deep breath into your heart space and exhale do this as many times as you need and whenever you're ready open your eyes and see which one of these wonderful spirit animals has the message for you to help you discover what makes you attractive we have the porcupine the fox and the lynx so you'll see down below the timestamps and the chapter markers to go to your reading and i'll see you there loves Hey there, Star Fam. Welcome to your reading here. For those of you that were drawn to the porcupine spirit animal, before we get into your reading, you know, the key thing about Transform with Ryan is the intention of this channel is to help you transform, step into that higher version of yourself. And so what I would like for you to do before we see what the reading has to say, I'd like you to write down one thing that you love about yourself down in the comments below. It's important that you say it out loud, you write it down, you acknowledge this so that you can allow more love, more self-love, more respect and compassion for yourself into your life because everything starts with you. Your reality is a reflection of who you are and how you feel about yourself. So with that in mind, I can't wait to see your comments on what you love about yourself, and I can't wait to pour some love into your statements. Now, those of you that were drawn to the porcupine, here on this card, it says, Innocence, free yourself of guilt and shame. So what I'm seeing here is that there is something about the way you carry yourself that is endearing. Uh, almost like there's this childlike innocence and wonder about you. There's this playfulness about you. And there's this kind of like unapologetic quality about you already as it is. And I'm hearing that perhaps you are kind of on the fence on how much you express that. Like you don't want to come off too cocky or egotistical or anything like that. And so you... I think you hold back a little bit in expressing your awesomeness and exp expressing your playfulness and you know spirit is saying like that's what makes you so beautiful and attractive and so keep coming out of that shell and and really really embrace that part of you um i'm also hearing, which is very fun and interesting, is with this porcupine, there's something about your hair as well. Your hair is actually very attractive, very beautiful. Maybe it's the way you style it. Maybe it's the color of your hair. Maybe it's the texture of the hair, how it frames your face. But there's something about your hair and the hairstyle that people find very, very, very attractive within you. Um, so let's put this off to the side so that playful energy, that authentic, genuine energy that you let come through um, every once in a while. People really love that and they find that so attractive about you. Um, I'm actually now hearing that um, people love kind of your sense of humor and that you really make them laugh <laughs> um, and you bring a smile to their day and they really appreciate that about you and they love that quality about you. 
So let's pull some oracle cards, some oracle energy cards here and see what else people find attractive about you. Okay, let's do a little cut of the deck. And we have rest and rejuvenation. We have door to value. Storm warning. And the sun. All right. So I see it very, very clearly. There's like some extension of the messages that were coming through already with the first card and the porcupine. So with that unapologetic nature that you let come through within you, people find that really attractive. Why? Because it shows that you value yourself, that when you have those moments where you are just free and you're doing what you want to do, when you want to do it, when you express yourself genuinely, when you express yourself creatively, okay? Maybe some of you sing, maybe some of you dance. When you just express yourself in this way and not spend so much time worrying or thinking about what other people have to say, then people find that insanely attractive. It's it's kind of like that confidence, that swag. And so you need to let more of that come through. I'm hearing from spirit that, you know, you really hold back most of the time in expressing yourself in this way because maybe you're a little bit self-conscious, maybe you're a little bit worried about how people are going to take it, but spirit is like, you know, the people that aren't vibing with you that aren't down that don't get it like they are naturally going to kind of move out of the way and make space for the people that love this quality about you this joy for life that's what i'm hearing you have this joy for life that you can find the pleasure in a lot of the simple things and you know people find that really refreshing okay because the world, you know, there's a lot of people out there in the world right now who are putting up a front, who wear a mask, who who live their life trying to make the people around them happy, trying to be liked according to other people's standards and not their own. And so people find it really refreshing about you that it's like, hey, I really like how you're just being yourself, right? And that I don't have to question your motives, question who you are as a person. Like I get to see the real you and it's refreshing. It's refreshing for people to see the truth amidst all the lies that are floating around in the world these days. What I'm also seeing um, is that people love your passionate nature. That's very attractive. It's like when you go all in, when you are 100% in and fully on board with something like people love that it's very infectious is what i'm getting it's like it's like you're this force to be reckoned with okay because you help bring people to life is what i'm getting like you know how i was saying you make people smile you make people laugh it's like you make people feel things again you make people connect with themselves again connect with their truth and you kind of like snap them out of this sort of maybe zombie robotic mindset that some people have when they're stuck in this daily routine, when they're stuck in this rut, when you know nothing seems to surprise them anymore in the world and they're just like so bored. <laughs> I feel that people, they find you to be so entertaining, so lovable, like you're anything but boring when you let your light shine. And people love that about you right it's like you're this sunshine and look we have more water here so this breath of fresh air this refreshing um, splash of water this refreshing dip in some pristine clear cool water it's kind of how you make people feel here and um, you see we have this baby as well so very like this childlike energy is so lovely um, about you and you have such brilliant ideas, you have brilliant opinions, brilliant ways of looking at a situation that a lot of people are like, oh, I never thought of that before. You really illuminate their mind, you expand their, their thinking process here. Um, they love the things you have to say. And we have this bird in the cage and this um, tuba here. And again, so a lot of you, people really love your voice, okay? They love the... And it's not so much like just what you say, okay? 
That's not the whole thing. Yeah, you have wonderful, intelligent things to say, insightful things to say, but just the tone of your voice, people love that. Your voice is very soothing to them. It's very inspirational to them. And for those of you that sing or that enjoy singing, there are people out there who find it very attractive, very hot, very sexy, your singing voice. Um, I'm feeling like some of those crooner energies here, you know, from back in the day. I think it's like the 50s or 60s or something, maybe earlier than the 50s, actually. Those crooners, right, that sing those love songs that people just like, ah, you know, they kind of like swoon over. I feel like you're very swoon worthy, of course. Um, so I'm feeling that energy for you. So again, it's... You you help people feel things again. That's what's so attractive to you is you connect people with their emotions. And where do the emotions come from? The spirit. The spirit, the soul, the heart. And you help people reconnect with that, you know? So many times people are just like so in their head, so into the worries, the what ifs, the fears, the nervousness, the doubt. But you help them come back to their heart. You help remind them of like the joy in life, the fun things in life, and like the the like why do people exist? Why do people go to work? Why do people do things? Um, you know, and you help remind them of that. Um, mm, I'm feeling too that you help people kind of connect with some of their truth, whether they know it or not. That's the thing. Um, sometimes people they don't really connect with themselves and, and realize that they're experiencing something so real and raw when they're around you. Um, some realize it, some don't, um, but the experience is still there. Maybe they just don't have the words to place with it or to put on it. Okay, let's pull some tarot cards and see what else people find attractive about you. <laughs> We have the five of wands. There you go. Unapologetic. You have these moments where you just show up as you. Okay. And some of you, do you know, like maybe you even do it on an unconscious way. Okay. Like, you know, my sister, my, my big sister, she dyes her hair this bright red color and she does it because she loves it. She loves that color in her hair. She feels very beautiful with that hair color. But when I'm with her, like the amount of compliments that she gets on her hair is astounding. Like strangers just come up and like, oh my God, I love your hair color. And they just compliment her. And, you know, a lot of times when people do that, it's because they would love to be able to express that as well, right? So them seeing you express yourself authentically and be who you are, it gives them sort of this permission, right? To be who they are, to show up as themselves, all right? So very, very inspirational energy within you. Again, whether you intend to be inspirational or not, people feel that way around you. And that's the beauty of being able to um, have a social media platform, right? Like, yes, you can say what you want about social media and stuff like that, but that's how we connect with people these days and how we um, discover new things. And there is a benefit to it, right? I know for myself, there are people online who I get to see being their genuine selves. And it's my mind is like, hey, if they could do it, why can't I do it? Okay. And, you know, that's what helped me be more comfortable with coming up online is I see these people in the LGBTQ community. I see people of color showing up as their wild, wacky, weirdo selves and living life and feeling that joy. And I'm like, why can't I do that? I can. So why not go for it? And that's the energy that you can give to other people as well the more and more you express yourselves. Because people already find it really cool, really attractive when you express yourself and you don't apologize for who you are. You, you um, really step into your uniqueness, okay? I see you as like the blue person in this picture here amidst all the you know tan colored people. You're this blue person and it's like you just stand out. You catch people's eyes because of your originality, your uniqueness, and they'd love to see more of that. We have the three of cups. Oh my gosh. So you have this very friendly, welcoming energy about you. 
We have the lovers. Oh, okay. So definitely some people find you physically attractive. Like they love your look. They love your style of dress. They love your personality. Like they just love um, the visuals. We'll say that. We, they love the visuals that you, that you show out to the world, okay? Next, we have the tower. And the two of swords. All right. So what I'm seeing here um, with the two of swords is like, you know, I'm, what I'm hearing in my head is that new one direction. I almost said new direction. That one direction song. You don't know you're beautiful. Uh oh. And that's what makes you beautiful. Uh oh. <laughs> right? It's like, here, like you have, you see this beautiful um, Indian woman here, and she's dressed very beautifully as well, but her eyes are closed, and there's all this fire around her. And so it's kind of like um, you don't really know how attractive you are, and that makes you even more attractive, right? It's, it's your appearance and your vibe comes off as so effortless you know regardless of how much time you've spent in front of the mirror or anything like that the what you how you present is so effortless and people are just like oh my gosh like you're so attractive and the thing is you don't like flaunt it you're not super stuck up about it yes you're confident yes you're unapologetic about yourself yes you're unique um all of those things but the thing is you don't like show it off you don't um act like stuck up and people love that. It like makes you even more magnetic and more attractive when you're just kind of like existing without, you know, trying so hard. That's the thing is like um, when you don't try so hard and you just be who you are, like people will just flock to you. Um, what do we have going on with this tower card? So, so interesting here. What I'm sensing with this, the word that's coming through is vulnerability, okay? When you show up as yourself authentically being who you are and not giving an F about what people think, in a way, there is this vulnerability about you where it's like, you know what? I don't care what people say. I don't care what people think. This is who I am. And I'm not going to change for anybody. I'm not going to put on some kind of filter, some kind of mask, some kind of front and be deceitful about who I am just to make you like me. And when you do that, when you show up as, as yourself, that's very courageous and it's very, it's a way to express your vulnerability to say like, hey, here I am. This is who I am. Like, go ahead, have at it. Feel free to criticize me for how I think, how I feel, how I dress, for my experiences, right? Um, and I'm hearing that there are people that have had the privilege of sharing in your journey and hearing about your vulnerability and your struggles that you've had in the past and the things you've overcome, and they really respect you for it. They feel deeply connected with your story and who you are, and, you know, they find you that much more attractive because of it. You know, I, I, I have to say, people are really drawn to fighters. You know, not many people are, you know, daydream about quitters and people who give up on life and, you know, throw in the towel. That's not a very attractive quality, quality to many people. But when you fight, when you push, when you never give up, that is attractive. This dedication this commitment to yourself, to your journey. That's attractive AF, and people see that in you. Oh my gosh, you sound hella amazing, and I'm here for it. I'm here, you sexy beast, you. <laughs> so that is your readings, my love. That is what makes you so attractive. 
Thank you so much for tuning in to your reading today, Star Fam. Make sure to like and comment down below what you are calling in from your reading today so that you can begin that manifestation pathway to make it a reality. And of course, feel free to share this video with others and subscribe to this channel. Now, I'd like to extend a very special invitation to go beyond a general tarot reading. Specifically, if you are looking to align with your purpose and learn how to achieve your goals. So go down to the description box below and book that energy alignment session with me. And on that call, we will create that personalized roadmap for you to align with your purpose and achieve your goals. Now, I look forward to connecting with you. But until next time, sending you all so much love and cosmic hugs. Bye! Hey there, Star Fam! Welcome to your reading for those of you that were drawn to this lovely fox spirit here. Before I get into your reading, Spirit would like for you to comment down below something that you love about yourself. Just one thing that you love about yourself. Now, why do you need to do that? Because as we pull into the energies of this reading on what makes you attractive, according to other people, it's more important for you to realize for yourself that you are attractive, okay? Because someone can compliment you and tell you how wonderful, how pretty, how handsome you are over and over and over again, but if you don't believe it for yourself, it's not gonna change. It's not gonna transform the way you view yourself and the way you think of yourself, all right? And here at Transform with Ryan, the reason why I do these readings for you all is to help you begin to experience deep and profound transformation within yourself, okay? And begin to step into the brilliant, amazing, and wonderful being that you are and shine your light out there. And so, you know, your reality and how people perceive you is simply a reflection of how you feel about yourself deep down inside. So go on, comment down below something that you find attractive about yourself here and now. And with that, let's get into your reading. So those of you that were drawn to the fox, the card says adaptability. Adapt to the changes that are happening. So what I am sensing here with this fox energy is that people love how unpredictable you are. That is very attractive. It's kind of like they don't know what's going to happen next when it comes to you. They don't know what you're going to do next. They don't know what you're going to say next, but they know it's going to be, at the very least, entertaining. They know it's going to be something that's going to shock them, whether in like a, <gasps> what, I can't believe you said that, or a, <gasps> wow, I never thought of it that way, right? You, you really surprise people um, over and over and over again. And the other thing that I'm hearing too with this is that there's something about you like you tend to reinvent yourself. It's kind of like when people think that they know who you are and, and they kind of think they can predict how you're going to act, how you're going to respond to something, you surprise them again and again and that keeps people coming back for more okay because people love that shock value that surprise they love being like entertained and and they just love that kind of energy about you um where they don't know how you're gonna handle things and and what i'm getting is that you can also be quite adventurous that's the thing. You're very adventurous and you have some very wonderful stories to tell about experiences that you've had and people love hearing about it. It's it's like what I'm hearing is that some people, they live vicariously through you, okay? Um, and that's what's so attractive about you. It's kind of like, you know, I don't care. I'm going to do this. I don't care. I'm going to try that. Um, this is what I think. Um, and I'm going to say it. I'm not going to hold back. And, um, you know, it's like... There's, there's no predictability uh, almost about you, okay? Like maybe there's some things that you just really don't like, you know, like, I don't know. Like me, I don't like ketchup. Like I just don't like ketchup, that's never gonna change. And so when I go to a restaurant, like no one's surprised that I don't want ketchup, you know? But otherwise, you know, my life has been kind of crazy. Like, you know, I started out with my identity being like male, I identified as gay, and then I identified as non-binary. And, you know, I wore female clothing every once in a while and expressed myself that way. I grew up my hair and it's like surprise after surprise, like people like 
were shocked. And then, you know, I started my career in medicine as a physician assistant, well, medical assistant technically, then went to physician assistant, and now I'm making YouTube videos on tarot, and now I'm coaching people on spirituality. I'm teaching people about how to connect with themselves, how to grow and evolve, how to trust their intuition, build their confidence so that they can achieve the things that they want in life. And it's like, people were like, oh, I never saw that coming, like, wow. You know, and so, you know, one of my best friends is always like, wow, you're always evolving like a Pokemon into like a new creature. <laughs> every time you every time I talk to you, like there's something new and crazy and amazing that you're doing. And you have similar qualities in that way. OK, where like when people reconnect with you when people chat with you, they're like, oh, my gosh, I can't believe you're doing that. That's so cool. That's so amazing. And people love this like bold, daring kind of action taker energy that you have and how you're not against change. You're not against evolving and growing and trying new things. And people find that ridiculously attractive about you. <laughs> so let's see what else they find attractive about you here with the Oracle cards, these Oracle energy cards. Let's see, what makes you so attractive? My foxes. Oh my gosh, you know something else I wanted to say too with about the fox that came through? I'm so glad I remembered this. Um, there's something about the figure that you have, okay? People love your body shape, okay? Whether you are big and beautiful, big and juicy, whether you have those that hourglass shape, whether you have those broad shoulders and muscles, like that V-shaped body tapered at the hips, whether you have that chiseled jawline, like there's something about the silhouette the angles in your body that people find really attractive, like the shape of your body. Um, okay. I'm hearing like for some of you, it's like your legs even. People find your legs very attractive. <laughs> so let's see what we have here with the energy. We have community. We have happy family. Door to spirit. And door to personal healing and happiness. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. You have two doors here. Okay, let's take a look at these doors here for a minute. So, what I'm seeing is that people really find your life, your experiences, the stories that you tell, kind of like an entertainment, okay? It's like, I'm, I'm feeling like this is very much like Price is Right. Like, what's behind door number one? What's behind door number two? And people are just like anticipating what you're going to do next, what you're going to show them next. And on a deeper level, some of them realize this, some of them don't, is that you have done all this work to nurture your spirit nurture your soul you're like deeply connected with who you are at your core all right you embrace who you are truly um, you know beyond looks beyond ethnicity beyond race beyond nationality beyond you know social status beyond income bracket, like you are deeply connected with your spirit and your soul. You know who you are. And because you've taken that time to discover it, you've taken that time outside of the daily hustle, the daily grind to really connect with yourself and heal. What I'm hearing is that, you know, with all of the experiences that you have, it's like there's this lesson that you learn. And as you tell the story, people hear the lesson as well. You know, you share your experiences like, oh my gosh, like I did X, Y, Z, and then now I know I shouldn't do, the, do A, B, C because that will make things difficult for me. Or I've come to realize like I have this pattern that's really destructive, that's not helpful for myself. And um, now that I know I'm breaking that cycle and I'm stepping into the better version of myself, you know? Some of you maybe have gone to therapy and the people around you definitely notice like how much 
like emotionally healthier you've become. Some of you have gone on, you know, a physical wellness journey and you've transformed and changed your appearance in that way. And you sharing what you've learned along your journey is very inspiring to them and they love it. And, and you're very motivating to them, very inspirational to them. And a lot of people, you know, they, ah, uh, okay, I see, I see. They find that there is this wisdom about you that's very attractive, very admirable. It's like you're wise beyond your years because you're not afraid of challenge. You're not afraid of growing. You're not afraid of changing and evolving as a human being. And people recognize that in you and they think it's so cool that you do that, okay? Because what I'm hearing is sometimes you bring out the fears that people have and to some degree you help people step out of their fear and step into the unknown just like you have and that is that courage is insanely attractive um, and people actually like who you're becoming okay it's like it's almost like with each evolution and every growth where you're becoming more and more who you truly were meant to be it's like people are just falling more and more in love with you all right it's like they don't get bored with you they don't want to like end the friendship end the relationship it's like they just the more they uncover and learn about you the more pulled in they are into your story into your orbit <laughs> um here with community and family, uh, what makes you so attractive as well is you're very kind, you're very caring, you're very compassionate. And yes, to your family members, like people really love how you treat your family members and the relationships you have with your family members, but that extends beyond your family. That extends to the community, that extends to people you've just met even, strangers. and. The fact that you're so kind and giving, people find that attractive about you. They're like, wow, like you're so sweet. You're so nice. Like I, I, I would, I can't believe people like you exist in the world, right? Like sometimes we watch TV and we see all these bad guys doing bad things and we hear all the bad stuff that's happening in the world and how people are lying and stealing and cheating and all this kind of stuff. And you remind them of like, wow, there's actually genuinely nice kind caring people out there in the world you know and it's like so nice that they get to see a different aspect of humanity when they're around you and when they hear your stories and when they get to interact with you and that's so beautiful you make people feel welcome you make people feel seen you make people feel heard right and to be honest, like, have you ever been in a relationship with someone where it's like all they do is talk about themselves and they're like so self-centered, right? You know those kind of people I'm talking about. I'm sure you can think of at least one person that you've met in your life who's like that. And like, that's not sexy. That's not cute to be like self-absorbed. And so the thing is, you're not self-absorbed. You're very mindful of the people around you. And, and that is so alluring. That's so magnetic. Okay, let's see what the tarot has to add to this conversation here. Oh, okay. I'm going to shuffle, guys. No, no shuffle. Okay. So we do like this. Wow. I'm loving the messages coming through for each and every one of you here. Because this is what being attractive is all about, to be honest. It's not simply about appearances. Like appearances is just surface level attractiveness. And there's really no depth to being attracted to someone just because of their looks. It's, you know, there's a lot of attractive people out there in the world, but that doesn't mean they're a good match for you. There's, that doesn't mean that looks engenders true love and value and friendship and connection, right? So here we have the chariot. So very courageous very daring energy within you where it's like hey i'm gonna go for it i'm gonna try it um because i know that i'm going to get something out of it something magical something transformative um i i i see that there is something about you that screams like hero 
energy. It's like you're the hero of the story. Not necessarily because you like save people's lives or anything like that. I mean, of course, maybe some of you do do that kind of work and you do help people in this genuine way. But you're this hero in the story because people really um, see parts of themselves in you. And they see how you handle different aspects of yourself differently than other people in the sense where like you don't run away from the shadow. You don't run away from the challenges, the obstacles. You press on forward. You don't let them stop you. You don't let them hold you back. You look at a challenge and you're like growth opportunity or I'm going to discover something amazing about myself in this process. So you don't shy away from difficulty or challenges. So that's that hero energy that comes through here. We have the four of coins. So I see you here as the vulture in the picture, kind of like putting the wings around this, I think they're Native American or maybe South American woman. So pe they, people feel like embraced by you. They feel like um, you're a safe space. For them okay because they know you've been through some things and so it's kind of like they, they're not worried excuse me they're not worried that you're gonna judge them okay because you've been through it you've had your share of drama of like ugly cry sessions of mistakes of looking like a fool of um, falling on your face and then getting back up they know you've had those experiences and so they feel safe around you to share because you're not putting on this front like oh i'm so perfect i'm flawless like everyone else is so lame like you don't have that energy at all and it's like people can feel like let down their guard around you because they know they're safe they know that you won't judge them or like be mean to them for what they're going through five of cups six of cups wow that's some cups energy coming through and the fool ah uh, i love this so this fool card that came through that's that energy that you have like the fool doesn't spend all of their time worrying about the what ifs and all the worst case scenarios and like the logistics. The fool just goes for it. The fool is this optimistic being. And so this optimism within you is really attractive where it's like, hey, things are gonna work out. It's gonna be fine. And it's like, what I'm hearing is from um, Spirit is like, I have a friend who we, we kind of joke and tease because, you know, they find themselves in these situations where it's like, oh my God, you could have been really hurt or something bad could have really happened to you if, because you've done that and, and they end up being okay. Like things end up working out fine for them. And so we say, wow, your angels are really, you know, working hard for you. <laughs> your guardian angels are really protecting you. They're like working overtime. Um, and, you know, they live their life with this trust that they're going to be taken care of, that they are protective, that they are looked after. Okay. And so they don't spend a lot of time worrying, 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 worrying about every little thing, okay, and being afraid and anxious. Um, and they just live their life. And so you share that quality to some degree where it's like, you know, I'm just going to live my life because at the end of the day, I know I'm cared for. I know that spirit is guiding me, that God, that universe has my back, and I know I'm going to be okay. So anything that I have to face, I can do it. I can make it and I don't need to know what's on the other side, what's on the horizon, what's on the other, what's over here on the edge of the cliff because I know that everything's going to be fine regardless. And so there's this optimism about you that people find attractive because let me like, let's be real. There's a lot of pessimistic people out there in the world, right? There's a lot of people who are just like, oh, why bother? Like, it's never going to work anyway. Or it like it only works for everyone else. It never works for me. You know, like that kind of attitude where it's like, geez, OK, it's like Eeyore from Winnie the Pooh, right? so sad so depressing and like you're totally not that way <laughs> not to say that you haven't gone again you've gone through your difficult times but the thing is you don't let those difficult times hold you down you don't sit here and cry and woe is me and like have like a pity party that is not your vibe at all okay it's like you know yeah i went through some things yeah that situation sucked but doesn't matter i'm still alive i'm still here so that means i can still accomplish something i can still achieve something i can still be successful like it's not over till it's over you know 
Um, here I'm seeing this very giving energy with the six of cups. Okay. I'm hearing that you really give of yourself, um, more so than the average person. And you even give when you don't have a lot. And that's really amazing. And that's really attractive and beautiful about you. You continue to give even when you don't have anything in excess. Like you're not afraid. You're not hesitant to do something for another human being to help them out. And that really pulls in this community and happy family energy to kind of support this six of cups. All right. So, wow, keep on being you, love. Keep on being you, you sexy fox, you. <laughs> Again, let people see just how attractive you are. Thank you so much for tuning in to your reading today, Star Fam. Make sure to like and comment down below what you are calling in from your reading today so that you can begin that manifestation pathway to make it a reality. And of course, feel free to share this video with others and subscribe to this channel. Now, I'd like to extend a very special invitation to go beyond a general tarot reading. Specifically, if you are looking to align with your purpose and learn how to achieve achieve your goals. So go down to the description box below and book that energy alignment session with me. And on that call, we will create that personalized roadmap for you to align with your purpose and achieve your goals. Now I look forward to connecting with you, but until next time, sending you all so much love and cosmic hugs. Bye! Hey there, star fam. Welcome to your reading. For those of you drawn to the Lynx card here, before we get into your reading, Spirit has asked me to instruct you to comment down below one thing that you find attractive about yourself, one thing you love about yourself. Why? Because in order for you to receive all this beautiful energy that's going to come through for your reading, you it all starts with you. I can say all these wonderful things about you from what the cards share on how attractive you are, but it doesn't mean diddly squat if you yourself don't believe them. Okay, so let's open up this reading with a genuine comment and reflection on yourself of what you love about yourself because your reality, the experiences you have here in this earth, they are a reflection of you, who you are on the inside and how you truly see yourself. All right. I know we're getting deep. This is Transform with Ryan. You know, I do these readings to help you evolve, help you grow. It's not just about that superficial stuff. And this reading is not just about the superficial attractiveness of your looks. This is what is that swag? What is it about you beyond your looks that keep people coming back for more, that keep people engaged with you? Okay, because looks will only take you so far. So on to your reading. Now that you've left your comment down below, I can't wait to read it and show you some love. For those of you drawn to the links here, it says discernment. Look beyond immediate appearances. So right away, I know that what is so attractive about you is your intelligence, your mind, how powerful your brain is. Okay. And for some of you, yeah, like you're totally book smart. You have a lot of knowledge, a lot of know-how, a lot of factual information within your brain. And that is like very impressive, right? Maybe you're a hit at those, um, what are those trivia nights, right? At the bars and stuff like that. Like maybe you can really show up and show out at these trivia nights. But also there's just this, you know, street smarts, this sort of life intelligence that you have where it's, um, you know, there's those people in the world that expect others to figure it all out for them. They're just kind of like sheep, where it's like, okay, you just tell me where to go, how to stand, can you just do this for me, right? There's people like that out there in the world. But with you, it's like, you want to know how to do it so you can help yourself. And then not only that, you like to learn how to do it so you could help other people do it as well. Like you're not stingy with your knowledge. You're happy to share your knowledge with someone. You're happy to explain to someone how to do something, okay? Because you know it's going to be helpful for them. You know that will help them along their way, okay? Um, so there's this intelligence about you that is very uncanny. Um, and people are in awe 
at that. They're like, dang, you so smart. Oh my gosh, like you're brilliant. You have this brilliant mind. Um, the other thing that I'm hearing, I know we weren't going to spend too much time focusing on your appearances and your looks, but look at this Lynx. Look at his eyes or her eyes. Um, they're like very striking. And so what I'm getting is that people find your eyes very beautiful, very attractive. You know, eyes are like the windows to the souls, some people say. And so people really love what they see in your eyes. They see this brilliant, beautiful soul there. Um, so... You know, there you go. If you couldn't think of one thing that you love about yourself, hopefully now you realize it's your eyes. Eyes are your eyes are a beautiful, wonderful shape and color. And they're very, very attractive. <laughs> All right, let's pull some oracle energy cards here to find out more about what makes you attractive. Dun 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 I don't know why I am dun 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 like that. <laughs> okay, the end. <laughs> All right, so what do we got here? We have Journey. Ooh, there's this like shine about you. I'm, I'm really attracted to these sparkles and all these little stars here. There's this sparkle. There's this shine about you. Um, hmm. <laughs> There's something more here. It's not coming through yet. So we'll pull some more cards and we'll come back. We have contract. Blossoming abundance. And all tied up. Okay, so what I'm seeing here already, we talked about your brain, your street smarts here. And so there's this intelligence about you. Look, we have these books here. We have this scale. We have Lady Justice, like with the blindfold. So what I'm hearing about you um, is that First of all, you know, we already talked about you have a lot of knowledge, you have a lot of smarts. So people like coming to you to ask questions on how to do things. It's kind of your, you're like their go-to person, okay? <laughs> if there's like a question or a problem, it's like they love to go to you, okay? And um, they trust you and they trust your opinion. They trust what you have to say. They trust your knowledge. What I'm also hearing too, though, is that there is this kind of, honor about you that people find really, really attractive. Like um, you stand up for your what you believe is right. You protect your friends. You have your friends back. You, um, you never like cheat or lie or steal. Like you're very honorable. And what, uh, you know, is kind of coming to my mind here is have any of you seen Troy? The movie Troy, it has um, Brad Pitt in it, Orlando Bloom, and oh my gosh, why am I blanking on this guy's name? Because he he plays my favorite character in the movie. But um, so in this, you know, the movie Troy, that there's the story about like the Trojan horse and things like that. But who I found really attractive in the movie was Hector, which was Paris's brother. Okay, Paris was played by Orlando Bloom. I believe that was his name. Um, because, you know, uh, Orlando Bloom's character, Paris, like, stole Helen away from her husband or lover, fiance, whatever. I don't know. I don't remember the story and the details that well. And then, you know, they that's what kind of started this Trojan War. It's like, hey, you stole my bride. You stole my fiance. And now I'm, I'm going to get her back. I'm calling war upon your country. And Hector, like, knowing that his brother Paris is more like a lover, not a fighter, like, stood up to defend his brother and protect him um, in the movie. And he did the honorable thing as the person's brother. Um, and he put his family before himself. And I was just like, wow. That is so honorable, right? Like, you know, there are some people in the world who'd be like, hey, that's your mess. You fix it. Like, I that, I didn't do anything wrong. Like, you figure it out. I'm not going to help you, you know? And Hector wasn't like that. And, you know, he fought for his brother um, because his brother was in love. And, you know, I thought that was so 
insanely sexy. <laughs> Is that how honorable he was? Because, you know, what could be more sexier than being able to trust somebody? To trust somebody to have your back, to know that no matter what, they are there for you. Right? That is like so sexy to me. And I wonder if you find that sexy too, you know, to, to be able to trust somebody, to be, to have someone be trustworthy and honorable. Like that is sexy to me. So um, here we have Blossoming Abundance and All Tied Up. So what I'm sensing is, um, <laughs> you know, it's coming to my mind, like back in the 90s, there was this rap label called No Limit Records. And it was like, it had Master P and Silk the Shocker. Uh, I'm trying to remember like who else was in that record. Um, but I think one of the songs like, make them say, oh, uh, oh, uh, na, 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 na. <laughs> Like, it was so popular. Now that I'm, like, singing the words in the lyric, I'm like, it's so silly. Um, but in any case, um, it's you're like that record label, like, No Limit Records. Like, people are just astounded where they're like, wow, just when they think you've reached the top and you've, you know, reached this level of wealth, this level of success, this level of abundance, it's like, oh, no, there's still more. Like, it's like you're like the, this gift that keeps on giving, that you have this, like, abundance, abundant energy about you. And it's like, you know, for, you know how people say, like, the sky's the limit or sh aim for the stars and go big go, or go home, like, right? Like, all those kind of, like, sayings to inspire people to really push beyond um, their limitations and what whatever barriers they think they have, like you are that person that really lives that um, life where it's like, wow, you know, like a lot of people, this is where they stop, but this is where you stop. And again, it's like you have this drive, you have this passion for yourself, for gaining knowledge, um, accomplishing your goals and dreams. And so you just push yourself, you know, it's like, like you're never exactly satisfied for very long, if that, right? You always want to reach new heights. You always want to continue and grow. Dream a bigger dream, achieve a bigger goal. Like you just don't stop. It's like, you know, um, people are just in awe and they're just astounded by like what you can do, you know? Um, I remember, so this is kind of your energy. Um, when I was celebrating the 4th of July weekend in the U.S. with my friends at the um, lake, they were doing this like push-up contest. Some of my friends were doing this push-up contest and they're like, okay, let's see how many push-ups you can do in a row before you stop, right? And everyone was like, hey, let's go for 50 first. And you know, like there's some people that did 50 and then they're like, no, you know what? We could do more. Let's do like 75. And then it just kept going and going, right? And then at the very end, the goal ended up being like to do 100 push-ups in a row. Mind you, by that point, several of my friends had already done the 25, had already done the 50, now they were going for 100. And one of my friends, you know, and I don't think they did this to show off personally, like that wasn't my impression. I think they did this to just prove to themselves that they can achieve more than what their mind says, that they can go beyond the limitations of the mind by willpower alone. And they did like 110 push-ups. They went 10 over the goal. And I was like, dang, I was like so happy and so proud of them for like, you know, having the willpower to go beyond the exhaustion that I feel like their body was experiencing, you know, from doing all these push-ups over and over and over. And so that's like with you right? It's like you have this insane willpower to go for it. And like, you just don't give up and you don't like, you don't really think in terms of limitations and like what you can't do. You focus more on what you can do and what's possible. And that is sexy AF. Okay. People love ambition and you have a lot of that. Okay. Um, so now this journey, 
I feel like what this is really saying is that people really respect you for the journey that you've gone on in life. They respect you for like, you know, having finished high school, gotten a high school diploma or your GED, going to school, raising a family, um, being a leader in your community, in your church, in your um, club or your organization or at your job, right? That you're on this journey of self improvement, um, accomplishment, achievement, okay, where you're just like, I'm not, you know, I'm not done. That's your energy. I'm just not done. Like, okay, yeah, I'll take a break and I'll celebrate my wins and my successes, but I'm not done. Like, now I'm ready to go towards my next goal, my next dream, my next vision. Like, I'm not settling here. And you're always on the move. That's the thing with this journey. You're always on the move. You're always expanding, always growing, always bettering yourself. And people love that. They love this journey, right, that you're on. They love hearing about it. It's like, you know, some people, if they were in your position, they would have given up. They would have called it a day or they would have been like content. They would have, okay, I'm good. I don't need to do any more. But you continue to surprise people and just... Like, you know, like that Britney, give me, give me more, give me more, give me, give me more. <laughs> like that is your energy and you're on this journey of life, you know, and there's like no end here until, you know, your spirit has moved on to a different dimension or a different physical vessel here. <laughs> I get the sense too that you're probably that kind of person that never will truly retire. You know, like you're never just going to be that person like, okay, I'm done. I'm just going to sit on my butt all day and watch TV. Like you're not that person. Um, when you stop like your work, your job, you're going to do like personal development, personal achievements. You're going to, I don't know, travel the world in your RV and, um, you know, uh, learn that language you've always wanted to learn that you never had the time for because you were at work. You know what I'm saying? Like you're that person that's like that eternal student. Um, let's see what the tarot has to say. So we have five of wands, queen of wands, strength. Ooh, how appropriate that the strength card came out. Queen of coins. Wow. Two queens. Okay. And the hanged man. Okay. So, and... So what I'm seeing here, again, going back to the idea, the notion that what is so attractive about you is your mind. So here with the five of wands and the hanged man, the message that I'm getting is that you like you are a problem solver. OK, it's like you almost get like this joy out of problem solving and like nothing keeps you stumped. Nothing keeps you stuck for very long. You're very solution focused. You're a problem solver. You like, it's like you don't take no for an answer. And that's probably part of your drive and your willpower. You're just like, yo, okay, this sounds hard, but I need to figure it out. Um, I want to figure it out. Like, it's important to me to solve this riddle, solve this problem. And you're like problem solving process here. Like the way you think through problems is like sickening. It's like, what? You are like so dang smart. You know, it's not that, it's not, again, it's not just like, oh, you can recite facts and you know how to do arithmetic and math and whatever. It's like you have this creative problem solving ability because, you know, like this hangman, like you can look at things from all these different angles, okay? You don't really get stuck in one frame of mind for long. Um, you can see different aspects of a problem and and that will help you unlock the key to solving them, okay? So it's a brilliant, brilliant mind once again. Um, and here with the five of wands also what I'm what I'm seeing is like um, you you really stand out in your ability to pursue your dreams and goals. Again, you're that person that's like, everyone else has given up, everyone else has thrown in the towel, everyone else is like, I'm done, I'm good, I don't wanna do this anymore. And you keep pushing, you keep going even further. So it's like, you have this reserve of energy within you that's like, dang, like where do you find all the energy to do this? And it's like your willpower, your willpower alone is so, so strong. 
And this is that strength that's coming through, okay? And it's not that you're physically strong, okay? It's not like you are, you know, the, a muscle man, muscle woman, like can lift 500 pounds. Like it's not that. It's your inner strength, okay? The queen energy is about the your inner expression, okay? Not so much your external doing action. It's this internal spirit, this internal willpower, okay? Again, I'm using the word willpower, but that's your strength here. It's like that never give up mindset, um, that I can do this attitude, okay? You have that and you're very passionate about this. In fact, you're probably one of those people that like loves a good challenge. I, I, I would say you, I wouldn't be surprised if that were you. And here, that's what has led you to be able to achieve so many things in the physical world, okay? Achieve um, pay raises, achieve these high-level positions, achieve your degree, your certificate, when maybe other people have failed out or, you know, decided against continuing in this very rigorous and challenging program and area of study. Um, and also, you know, again, going back to your physical health, it's like, like the push-ups we were talking about. It's like when some people fall off the wagon here and they're like, oh my God, I don't feel like going to the gym. I'd rather just go home and watch TV and eat some French fries or something like that. Like you're like, no, I'm going to keep going to the gym um, because I believe in my health. I believe in my wellness. Um, and you get these results, okay? You, the results show for all this effort and and energy you put into it and this focus and this mindset and that is insanely attractive to have this list of accomplishments because of your willpower so there you go loves that is what makes you so dang attractive thank you so much for tuning into your reading today star fam make sure to like and comment down below what you are calling in from your reading today so that you can begin that manifestation pathway to make it a reality and of course feel free to share this video with others and subscribe to this channel now i'd like to extend a very special invitation to go beyond a general tarot reading specifically if you are looking to align with your purpose and learn how to achieve achieve your goals. So go down to the description box below and book that energy alignment session with me. And on that call, we will create that personalized roadmap for you to align with your purpose and achieve your goals. Now I look forward to connecting with you, but until next time, sending you all so much love and cosmic hugs. Bye.